morning friends we finally started our trail for today very late as always all the pilgrims are arriving at the destination and we're just starting this is our tradition <laughs> we're just feeling like every day it's harder and harder to get up for whatever reason maybe the physical exhaustion just getting at us and we may do one day out of the trail so like a rest day maybe <laughs> tonight we were cold but we have hats and warm clothes. I was kind of wrapping up in the sleeping bag, so but it was okay. Now we feel the wind is colder than usual. So that's probably the reason why we were cold. The camping was very nice because it has a lot of space, trees. Yeah, we could choose the place that we want. This is very important for us. Very clean and close to the beach. All this criteria make the camping perfect, in our opinion. We highly recommend it because Camino goes through the camping and it has very good price, not expensive. We want to do 15 kilometers, no more. Yeah. Because we saw in a map very good landscape mm. and Camino goes uh, very close to, to the coast. So we stop a lot to film and to take pictures and it takes time. So we think it will be enough for today and for every good day like this. So this is the plan. just discovered the fact that in Asturias the back of the shell indicates you the right direction where you need to go because we thought that the indicators got quite confusing but actually no the shell is the indicator so but we just didn't know
so beautiful right now, so powerful, so long. And we actually can see how they are forming the rocks that are staying in the water. Like they are crushing it and ruining it bit by bit. That's astonishing you. We take the jar route because it goes better. On the crossroad we saw that Camino again wants to follow the car road. And we don't want that, so we are taking the alternative one. It will take us the same direction, but the better way, hopefully. Our flashcard for whatever reason decided to stop working. Now we are checking if all the files are safe. It's not much actually, only the last bit of yesterday and today, first part of today, but we're kind of worried. It happens for the first time here on Camino. It seems that it's all safe, thanks God. It's just the camera doesn't want to see the memory card. These mountains in the background seem so high and unattainable when you are almost on the, at the sea level. But we actually realized that we live at this elevation in Pyrenees. We live at 1,300 meters approximately. And these peaks are around this high. So that's crazy depending on where you are seeing this kind of visual illusion. We learned this jar E9 crosses Asturias from east to west and it goes along the coastline. So we'll be following it from time to time. to our house. I found it. Welcome. It just looks so cool like the building from the exotic islands. Something. I like it a lot. The weather today is like in the hot desert. Hiking in extreme conditions right now.
get through the spiky blueberries. Really going off the beaten past today. But we have to make the sacrifices in order to get to the great viewpoints. Ooh, the good road again. Back on the road. Today we enjoyed a lot following the E9, GR E9 route and if it wasn't so hot we would enjoy it even more but the views were incredible, we have seen a lot of great viewpoints on the way which the Camino skipped and it's a pity, you know, for all the pilgrims, we feel sorry for them but of course you have to count with the GPS because sometimes the E9, the GR E9 gets confusing and there are no indicators on the crossroads so it can get lost quite easily. But if you have a GPS and you have quite a lot of time because it's more time consuming, it will be a great option for you. You would enjoy it. And now we're getting close to our camping, which we're not sure if we'll stay, if we like it. But we're a bit worried because we don't have any food, almost no food actually. Just some cereals and that's it, no fruits, no veggies. And there are no shops around. If on the reception there will be no supermarket, we'll be left a bit hungry today. So we'll see. So the bad news, the camping was closed and now we have to find a stealth camping spot which is quite difficult because there are lots of houses spread around and lots of farm grounds you know like used for the cattle and stuff but at least we found water in the bar and also they sold us tomatoes so this was our first experience buying some veggies in a bar so now we'll know that it's possible but obviously two times more expensive than normal so but at least we have something to eat and well probably we'll show you tomorrow what we found so now the sun is setting and we we'll have to hurry Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment below sharing your opinion. Subscribe to our channel and hit notification bell to always stay up to date with our hiking adventures and nature walking videos. Also follow us on social media such as Facebook and Instagram for daily updates. Hope you are having a great day and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!